And I think once you start digging into ancient civilizations, you'll realize they had already figured out the patterns amongst the stars to be able to determine the same things that we're finding out through patterns of data sets of psychographic information. And so, you know, if you start to look at it that way, and again, I'm speaking to those who may be listening, um, it makes it easier to just discern, right? When you're hearing different people use different systems, it's the same pattern recognition, but applied to different scales. Okay, so why am I talking about that? The sun. So there's been something called Three Eye Atlas, a comet that's been uh, roaming our solar system uh, since about middle of 2025. And it started to heat up, l literally, uh, close to this November, early November uh, date range because it started changing colors. The, the, the tail that it had, it wasn't acting like a normal comet for those who are into their astronomy. And it, it was pointing at the sun as opposed to being pointing, uh, pointing away. And as it got close to the sun, it approached what they call a perihelion, which is essentially where it like moves behind the sun and changes its uh, orbit directory. So when it did that, that was essentially around Halloween. So this is where people were kind of going. It's super strange that at significant points in this comet's orbit, it's doing so at significant human dates, right? Um, in terms of, you know, the sort of things that we celebrate all year round. Um, and so Halloween was that time. And if you look at the traditions of Halloween, so I'm here in Mexico at the moment. Uh, we just had Dia de Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. It's all about the ancestors. Uh, Halloween that's celebrated in the U.S., it used to have an ancestral component, I learned. If you look at its origins from Ireland, I believe, I think it's Ireland or Scotland, uh, one of the two. Uh, but they had Halloween, Hallow's Eve, which included ancestor worship too. And that is when Three Eye Atlas decided to change uh, its direction. But apparently we couldn't see it, right, when it did this, when it hid behind the sun. But according to NASA and other sort of uh, space agencies, we had, I think, things around that should have been able to see what was going on. Now, here's the interesting part. The U.S. government shut down, and all the space agencies around the world did not release any photos or video of 3 I Atlas during that time period. So that's where it gets super weird, right? That is unusual. Mm -hmm. So it gave like a good number of weeks for them to maybe evaluate, edit things if they wanted.